Well, guys, we haven't filmed an intro or anything yet, but we're hooked up with probably, what do you think, a 40 inch fish? Uh, it's a decent fish. Woo! Let's go! <laughs> oh, and, oh, oh, we almost had a double, guys. Hooked up. <laughs> Heck yeah. <laughs> oh, there he goes, baby. Woo! Hey, hey, hey! He's going upstream. Oh, peeling some line, baby. Let's go! Oh, good fish. It's been a long time since I've caught a fish that like makes me like shake minutes later. We're still like five, 10 minutes out after catching that fish and like, I still got the shakes. That that was it. That was worth the trip already. We're only on morning one. We got two more days of this and the rest of the day. So we gonna get them. God, that was freaking sweet. Well, good afternoon, y'all. It is uh, what is today? July the eighth. And I am leaving out from Knoxville, heading out west to do some striper fishing from a kayak with one of my buddies uh, on uh, a cool river system. And uh, I am super, super excited. It's about nine o'clock right now. And I've got about a two and a half hour drive, three, something like that ahead of me, depending on traffic and whatnot. And then I gotta be up at 2 a.m. to go get on the river. So uh, I have worked a double today and uh, it's gonna be a long trip, but I am dag, I'm excited and uh, getting to do something I've never done before, really. I've never really kayak fished, not seriously. I've done it a few times with my cousin bass fishing on uh, Melton Hill, but nothing for big fish, stripers and whatnot. And we're gonna be throwing nothing but artificials, big swim baits, big glide baits, top water wake baits, a uh, little bit of everything, just seeing what they want. And we're targeting big, 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 uh, striped bass here so uh, stay tuned come along with me I've uh, got my hotel booked at the janky budget inn baby and I'm just hoping it doesn't have roaches but it was the cheapest daggum thing in the area and when you want a fishing trip it ain't about comfort sometimes you gotta get the cheapest place to get you where you're going and uh, get out there on the water so stay tuned for this episode of Top Knox Fishing I'm your host Mark Cooper and uh, we're gonna have a hell of a trip I think Well, good morning, y'all. We are here striper fishing from, not a boat, from that thing right there. And I've already almost fallen in one time. We've already got one fish on the bank, a big one, almost 40 inches. And uh, the sun's just now coming up so we can film a good uh, intro here. And uh, I'm gonna introduce you to who I'm fishing with. Hey, what's up, Chris Bryant. Um, out here with Mark Cooper. I've been watching some of his videos on YouTube. We kind of got together on social media and uh, asked him if he'd like to join me out on my home waters chase fish in plastic floating boats. Uh, something I love doing, I've been doing it for a long time, and I'll see what he does on a boat. I wanted to see what he could do in a kayak. Pretty hardcore. Now today, we're not using live bait, nothing like that. It's just big, giant, artificial lures on big rods and reels, and I'm gonna let uh, Chris here show us what we're using, and then maybe explain kind of what we're doing a little bit, and then we're gonna get back to fish. All right, cool. So yeah, the way I chase stripers on this river, um, it's, it's hard to keep live bait on a kayak, so I can't do the uh, Fancy live bait gimmicks, uh, but I can do bait that imitates that. So this imitates skipjack herring. Uh, it's a bait made by Lure of YT. Something I've used out here after seeing some skipjack on the river uh, getting demolished by stripers. So I wanted something that I could imitate that without all the hassle of having to keep them alive or deploying balloons or trying to manage that from a kayak, which is impossibly hard. <laughs> uh, so went with this, and this is kind of the bread and butter. Uh, but really, any kind of single uh, single jointed glide bait works really well. Anything big. Uh, if you're throwing anything under seven inches, it ain't enough. So out here, size matters. I don't care how well it wiggles or whatever, size matters. Uh, so that's what we're using. That's gonna be kind of the bread and butter for the whole day. Uh, we'll be chucking these things, getting fish moving, seeing what comes up and eat, tempting them, and probably end up seeing a lot of fish. Uh, we do tend to see a lot when working these baits, so it works out beautifully. Heck yeah, let's go get them. Yep. Here 
I got a phone. Use mine. Here. The audio, the files for those are hard to transfer and big, like the quality of it. Okay. So, yeah. Well, guys, wading out here. Once it gets a little bit more daylight, we'll let the professional tell us what's going on and what we're doing. But I'm just uh, throwing this big giant magic swimmer, trying to get it to kind of wake over this area where the stripers are holding. And uh, first cast at the last spot, he hooked up before I could even get a camera out or do anything. So uh, enough daylight now to run the GoPro. I don't know how much it's picking up, but we'll see what happens. Yeah, I was gonna say cast at that bird that just landed. Can't see him now, he's covered in fog. <clears throat> Send one way upstream. <clears throat> yeah, get out of your way. Well, guys, we haven't filmed an intro or anything yet, but we're hooked up with probably what do you think, a 40 inch fish? Uh, depends how it's hooked. These are decent fish. It has some weight to it. Woo! Let's go! <laughs> This current ain't helping me at all. <laughs> I got Hooked up, baby. We wet wading in 50 something degree water. Let's go. That's a good fish. Look at the wake behind it. God, it's beautiful out here. It's one of those I'd love to enjoy this. I'm like walking this. It's like walking the dog with a giant rod bait. <laughs> First cast right here, guys. He was like, if they're here on this this show, they're here to be active. And he, he literally first cast, bam. Solid fish, bro. Oh yeah. Good looking fish. Get him back over here where I can manage him. Yeah. He smoked it on top of him. I best I better put my camera on. <laughs> Good fish. Upper 30s. No, 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 no. Oh, God, there he goes. <laughs> Get a broken rod. <laughs> River fish are nasty, man. I just, there's no other way to try to pull that for me. Yep. I'm trying to do this with two hands like a smart person. Not trying to be a hero. Good fish. 20 plus pounds for sure. Oh yeah. 20, 28, 29 maybe. Man, 26. Time to change hooks. Bent out already. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> get him on here and I'll get the tape on him. Look at that. Woo! I'm gonna throw one real quick while he's doing that. Have fun. All right, what was that, 38 inches? 38 inches on the dot. Not quite 40 that I was hoping for, but we got a lot of river left to fish, and there's still a lot of fish left in this spot, so. Heck yeah. You got chances? It's your turn next, though. Yep. <laughs> After that one, I kind of need a break. <laughs> it's a lot different when you're on the ground with them. Yep. Ty, you get to go for a ride. That so. wore him out. Not as bad. That was a fight. Cool, cool water. We're that's why we're fishing for these guys this time of the year because it's cold and it's they'll be fine. Back where I'm at, a lot of places, it's too hot right now. On the main lakes, especially, it's like nine degree water temp. It's like 50 something right here. Yeah, it's just I mean, one thing I'm looking for is that dorsal fin to flare. Yep. There it goes. It means they're starting to get get good. Awesome. Badass, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Do that again. Get one going upstream.
Well, we are in the yak now. We're going to start floating down the river, fishing the, the holes and riffles and whatnot. And uh, before I stand up in this thing, I got to get used to it <laughs> so I don't go in the water. But uh, what we're using. Well, Ooh, I got too close. So what we're using is a big giant skipjack looking glide bait. Big giant bait caster, Okuma Kondo reel, 65 pound test braid to a 50 pound mono leader, and then uh, just a snap swivel. And uh, I've got to figure out how to control a kayak. That would be an integral part of this entire system. Okay. Well, here goes nothing. You got one on it? Yeah. Oh look, big boil behind it. He had a giant boil behind his bait. That was cool. All right, so we're beaching the kayaks. There's a big shoal that runs out right here and then it drops off in the deep water on the other side. And we're gonna cast this big stuff over the top and get them to come up and blow up on it. Man, my feet are asleep from sitting in that kayak now. So just way out. Yeah, way out, slightly upstream. Okay. Okay. Should I wait out a little bit? Oh yeah, that feels good. Wake it. Okay. Okay. 
here and then basically just trying to hit the opposite bank at a Alright, I'm gonna try to stand up. My buddy has a 16 foot hog island skiff with a 50 horse Tahatsu on it. Jet, oh, yeah. that would be a Gucci gang for this. Yeah. Yeah, jets are also out here. Well, that thing's made out of, uh, the hog islands are made out of kayak material, so it's light as shit. Yeah, follow. One very big. It's a beautiful morning on the river. Alright, here comes some sketchy shit, y'all. Current's trying to push you that way, and we need to go through that right there and not wreck into the bank. Oh, God. Guggen alert coming through. It's your boy, Mark. Probably when it gets in the mud, just reel it in. Oh, we almost had a double, guys. Hooked up. <laughs> Heck yeah. <laughs> oh, there he goes, baby. Woo! <laughs> hey, hey! He's going upstream. <laughs> oh, peeling some line, baby. Let's go. Oh, good fish. Oh, he's peeling. Yes, sir. Whoa, whoa! <laughs> yep. Oh, this is a good fish. Whoa, more drag. Gosh. No. I 
good fish. Holy crap. He's peeling, guys. Gosh. Should I put some heat on him now? Yeah. I got hit right after. I was thinking he got cracked. Dude, this is a fish. I'm stuck in the mud in my shoe. Like I'm, <laughs> I'm like I can't move. It's like past my ankle. Holy crap! Here, you want to get my phone and uh, it's right here. Get your head up. Holy crap, guys! This is a good fish. I'm trying to keep him out of this tree that's right here. Oh, this is a tub. Video. We got a monster striper on, guys. Oh no, he's in this tree. Is he, can you feel, feel him? Okay. Walk towards him. Oh, got him off. Easy now. That's a big fish. Yeah. Wanna back the drag off? Oh, this is a toe, Chris. Yeah, I saw him. Feel him? Hey, yeah, oh, got him off. Easy now. That's a big fish. Yeah. Wanna back the drag off? Oh, this is a toe, Chris. Yeah, I saw him. Bro, this is 30 plus pounds. I'm like, I can't get my... Line up. I can't get... I can't get my feet out of the mud. You swinging this way? Uh, maybe. I got it in free spool in case he tries to do something stupid. Oh, Chris! Holy shit! <laughs> Holy crap, bro. Dude, that's, yeah, that's a tank. Oh, Chris. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap, bro. Dude, that's, yeah, that's a tank. Here, I'm gonna kill this. Yeah. Because I don't trust it. Yeah. Bro. <laughs> yeah. All right. Easy, girl. That's close to 40 pounds. All day. Mm. Right. Here. Here, I got, got her? Oh, she got me too. Yep. Holy shit. Yeah, she's pinned. All Bro. Right. It's a tank. <laughs> Thank you, dude. <laughs> it's it's down been down. lightning all morning and everything. Bro, oh god, don't go on the water, Mark. <laughs> I couldn't move, the mud was up to like almost my knee. <laughs> and every time she'd pull drag and like force the rod down, my legs would go down further. We almost doubled up, guys. This is wild. I love this. I wasn't even looking. I just felt thunk, and I was like, oh, God. Well, in theory. You know, it's big when the lip drips. Barely fit. Bro, that's about a 40 pound fish. I got a scale in here. I think it's getting close to that. Yeah, one. baby. That Komodo was daggum ripping line, and I had it cranked down. Oh, yeah. They, that's what I was saying, man. These fish don't fight like what most no. people are used to. It's yeah. a totally different fight. Yeah, different ball game in this <laughs> super cold water. <laughs> that's what she ate right there, guys. Woo -hoo -hoo. Right, let's see. Hooks still look good. Oh, good. Cut me. Right, where's my scale? Side. It's mid 30s for sure, I think. Dude, it's not out of the water all the way. 38. Yeah, close to 40. Dude, that is a freaking slob striper. <laughs> like, look at that thing. <laughs> 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 Guys, we taped this fish out. She's 44 inches long. Somewhere in the 40 pound range. Oh. 
<laughs> Wild he big fish guys. Big big fish. Okay. We're gonna release her. As you can tell, we're dodging storms. Water's muddy. Hard conditions, but man, we're getting them. Look, she's already wanting to go. Look how big his tail is compared to my hand. Look at this. You know when they're good, when these top fins are sticking up, or starting to. But we're gonna roll a viver a bit. That was a fight. That's one of the best fights I've ever had with the striper, ever. Ever. Hands down. My man, Chris, put me on him. Whoa. He's gone. That's it, baby. Let's get another one. <laughs> it's been a long time since I've caught a fish that like makes me like shake minutes later. We're still like five, ten minutes out after catching that fish, and like I've still got the shakes. That that was it. That was worth the trip already. We're only on morning one. We got two more days of this, and the rest of the day. Yeah. So. We gonna get them. God, that was freaking sweet! All right, I guess we're gonna go back fishing now. <laughs> My rod's covered in mud and stuff, whatever. <laughs> Look how awful dingy, this is usually crystal clear water. And we just had a mud line right here that that fish was sitting on and I was in the water waiting. We kayaked several miles downstream and then there she was. It's always important to take care of your gear. My buddy, my buddy, up in Knoxville, he just says, good luck, good luck, guys. He goes straight down for it here. I just told him, Mark just landed at 43. We back fishing again, baby. Yeah, I'm running again. <laughs> See what we can do. I'm gonna have to go stress pee. <laughs> that got me <laughs> unreal excited. And we almost doubled. I don't know how we would have done it. Most people wouldn't be out fishing in this. But here we are, a couple of Googans in the mud throwing giant glide baits. <laughs> Catching 40 pounders. Oh, I'm about to fall in the water. Yeah, guys, I'm like almost up to my, past my ankles in mud right now, like easily. And when I was fighting that striper, like my left leg was to the knee in mud. Yeah.
top five coolest fishing experiences. <laughs> top five. Hooked up. You got a good one? It's a striper though. Oh, some. I did? Yeah. I wasn't even reeling. I was just turning around. Chris is hooked up over there. That's a decent fish. We are having just a blast of a morning, guys. I'm gonna walk down here a little bit. We in this muddy water. Standing in mud, it's hard to stand. In. Chocolate milk. Yours on an eight-inch bait. I'm the one with an eight-inch bait. Horse in the man. Look at that, buddy. They are just so dang strong here. Oh God. <laughs> I'm about to go in. <laughs> you want some help? All right, I'm gonna throw while you're doing your thing. So apparently, I got swung on while I was watching him fight that fish. Yeah, you're like just down. I saw boil like a. Did yours swing on it or just it was on? No, mine cracked it right away. No, 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 no. He around the mud line too? Yep. Pretty cool. Same thing I'd fish for catfish and musky. Like Let me get that in. We just lay it back in the mud. It's good for it. Lost a tail on his bait. Getting yeah. some tail. <laughs> Losing some tail. And, uh, Citrix. We love these low profile reels. This would be a, what we call the cute ones. Yeah. They're fun. Yep. It's a scrappy little thing. Fun sizer. Beautiful yeah. fish. Look at the colors. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, mm. perfect. Overly aggressive going after a 10 inch bait. Yeah. So. Heck yeah. Are we going to release this feller? Probably about 12, 14 pound or something yeah. like that. Maybe a little bit more. AKA a baby in this river. Beautiful fish. Everybody be happy to catch that sucker. Oh yeah. I love how quick they revive. That dorsal fin's already up. Yeah. To go. This water's cold. There we go, baby. Let's get another one. I'm gonna go replace the tail on that bait before I do anything. He's on. In the mud again. Feels like a better fish. Yeah. Oh, that looks like a better fish. Oh, God. Let me get this bait in. I saw that eat. Yeah. He's on, baby. He's in the money spot. Yeah, better fish. There, he is. Up. there she goes, baby. Oh, came, off. came off. Dang. One of those hooks straightened? I thought that happened. Straighten that hook out. Broke the it broke the split ring. God. Yeah. Feel free to cuss and I'll just blurt it out. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that shit. Let's see it. Tore it apart, baby. Yeah. Just, that was another monster. Yeah, that was a big fish. 
Yeah. That one hadn't even really woke up. Ooh, I'm about to fall in mud. Stealing Chris's spot, no shame. 100% poaching. All right, baby. Come to daddy. They're hitting it on kind of a slow retrieve. This water's really, really muddy. For Like this river usually is just gin, gin clear. So this is just like chocolate milk for here. Like what I'm in is chocolate milk, like for any lake or whatever. But like for this, it's just wild. And these big stripers are sitting right in this muck. We've already caught two here. He lost one while I had that big giant one hooked up and he just lost another big giant one. So uh, it's already a damn good day. I ain't blurring that out either because I'm excited and that's just how the world works. All right, we're gonna go a little bit more finesse, you know, we've hooked four fish here, caught two, and uh, those were all on big glide baits, which is a little bit more of an aggressive presentation. So we're gonna use this guy, swim bait. This is 7.8 inch Kitek. It's got a hog farmer swim bait head. It's like three quarter ounce, something like that. Big giant beefy hook. And we're just gonna slow crank it through there. We are now uh, changing spots. We're gonna keep floating down. We've <laughs> hooked a lot of fish in this hole and caught a couple good ones. So we gonna move on. Covered in mud. Nasty, that's why we like it. He'll stand and do this. I ain't doing it. If I hook up, I'm falling straight in the water. Like, no questions asked. Yeah. What kind of depth is it over there? Uh, it's not too terribly deep. It's deep right where that, it's kind of where this log is. It's kind of a marker. It's like it's depth. Oh, shit, that was a big fish. Stripe? Hell yeah. Did you see the weight it left? Oh, yeah. That was 100% a striper. That was a smallmouth, and that was a damn world record smallmouth. Yeah. Oh, you got swung on, too. I did? Yeah. yeah. Oh, God. There he is. It's right behind it. Holy crap. Told you. We're gonna be in a world of shit if we hook up, just FYI. Yeah, they're gonna head straight to that. Hope not. That was a big fish, bro. Yes, it was. It was a very big fish. Right on the mud line again. Ah, shit. This one? Yeah, I think I went over the top of one. Now it's going on it. See that weight? That boil? Yeah. Like they're not coming out of the mud. They're feeding on chat getting pushed out of there. Yep.
also if they run me into that log, I don't mind losing it. I'd rather lose this than a bat Yeah. I'm pushing really close to a dangerous spot. Oh, get broken off? No, he got off. I, just, I wasn't paying attention. I was looking to see what making all that noise down there. And, damn. No, I didn't get broken. I got broken. What happened? It broke my loop. Holy shit. Hell, I'm about to throw on my. Throw on my I wonder how that manta, it would stay up in that strike zone a little bit more. Huh? How does it do in current? Good. This is one you need to throw it loud. Enough. Yeah. You can get it right across the top. It has this kind of action. That right there. Look on, look at this. Yeah, look at this thing. Well, day one's in the books and I'm about to pass out exhausted. We were on the river for 12 or 13 hours and we're both running on two or three hours of sleep. Caught some big stripers, broke off one, lost several others from the kayak. That was a blast, dude. You ready to do it again tomorrow? Oh yeah, of course. I'll brighten it, well, not even bright, Be early. Yeah, 3 a.m., let's go. <laughs> Stay tuned for the next one. I'm gonna go sleep for 12 hours now.